Hey guys, it's Rindy. I am here today with my panning games update for the 1st of October and today is the 2nd. I'm behind on everything, but it is what it is. So today I have sort of an empty. I'll show you. So one of the things I picked because my family was goofy was the star stickers and these are all gone. So that's an empty. I'm calling it. So that is my, my big empty for the month. The rest of this is only sort of making progress. I picked a lot of lip products, a bunch of eye palettes. Let's get into it. <clears throat> so the first thing that I have left, because I had some things I got out of here last time, was the Baddington Lashes. And these, I don't remember if I had used them once last time or not, but I have used them once. And I'm just keeping the tally up here. I figure those are supposed to be like 20 to 30 wears. So I really like these. Like I got rid of the pure ones in my first update. And they were just heavy and awful. These ones, you can't even feel that they're there. So these are so much better than the other ones. And I'm not huge like doing lashes all the time, obviously. But if I had to pick between these and the other ones I've tried... These win hardcore. So the next thing, let's see, is my Avon Lip Moisture. And this one is this big. And measuring on the cap, if you can see the black line just as you get onto the shiny part, I went from here to there. That is where I am at on the Lip Moisture. The Wonder Beauty Mascara is this tube. And this one is already, like, I feel like I took it out last month like I have it written in my I'll have to go look but this one is already starting to be flaky I'm pushing it out a little bit it's not really irritating my eyes yet I'm just noticing like the below my eyes start to the flakiness so we'll see how long before that one is moved out of here then it was I had picked the Avon polish in the color reckless and I had gone from the purple line to the black line if you can see and this was laying down so it's not not really uh, at the line but I'd started way up at the orange purple black if you can see it that is where I'm at with that I've used it like once I think I'm working on another polish that's or I've been working on a polish that's in a different project that's ending sooner so that's why that one is not done so good I'm trying to go in order of my list so I don't get lost here so the next thing is the CoverGirl Outlast Foundation. And this one was like brand new when I pulled it. And I didn't have any noticeable progress last month. And now I am right there. I can actually, like when I stand it up, actually see a line. So I am down to there. And like I'm still, it's still warm enough during the day where I don't really wear foundation yet. And I'm actually debating on getting rid of all my foundations or like working through all my foundations and then not buying anymore because I really just don't use it but I don't know I'm like iffy if I have like a really bad skin day you know I kind of want to have the foundation but I don't know but that's where I am on that one and so far I'm really like it, it's a foundation I don't know I, I just haven't found a foundation that like oh I have to have this so the next two things are the Avon lip glosses in Sweet Maple and Mocha. Which one's this one? This one is Sweet Maple, and this one had zero progress. I haven't, I think I might have used it once. I'm knocking things all over with my giant bin. I think I might have used this one once, and there was no, like, I couldn't get it to even show me any progress. So it went from purple to orange last time, and it's just, it's still at that orange line. It is what it is. But the Sweet Maple one... This is the one I forgotten to mark at the beginning. So it started at the purple, and now I am down to the black. This one had quite a bit of progress. And I think what I'm going to do with these, because I have two other lip glosses in another project as well, I might just, like, use one at a time and get through them and have progress, you know, just on one. So we'll see how that goes. So my Too Faced Mermaid Tears lipstick went from the purple down to the black. I took this along to a football game once. And speaking of football games, you like my new lip color. The um, the kids' football team is the Emeralds, and their their uh, team name is obviously their team color. 
So I had to get me some emerald green lipstick because, you know, I'm that mom at the football games. But anyways, I wore this one because this is the one that shifts from purple to green. And I really love this lipstick. So I wore this one to her last game and it went from purple to green. I think I really only wore it the once. I might have put it on like one other time this month. But like there's so many lip products that I'm trying to like work through that... I just kind of like switch off and there's just minuscule progress on everything. But that's okay with me. So the ColourPop Mess Around, this is one of the ones I've been, another another one I use like once or twice. You can see when I swirl, there's actually like, it moves in there. So there is progress, but I don't know. I can't stand this up. It's like too thick that it won't like go down to actually show me where I can draw a line or anything like that. So that's what that is. <clears throat> the Broadway Colors one went from, I guess I need to take this off, don't I? It went from purple to orange to black. So I am down to the black and they're like literally all touching. But that is, I mean, for black lipstick, that doesn't make me mad. And now we are in October and it's Halloween time. That's it. Black is coming up. So that one I'm hoping to have good progress on. Like a lot of progress on next update because of the October month and I'm, I'll be all about that black lipstick. So and the next one, I told you there's a lot of lip products. If you watched my intro, you already know. Is the Wet n Wild um, gloss. It's this one I can't like, I can't even swirl. I think this one will be one of those ones that I go through faster like Christmas and Valentine's Day type because it is this glittery red and it actually for a gloss stays on and stays where it belongs really well. I'm impressed with this. I just haven't really been using it in the like winter or winter summer fall era of this so far you know October September like August and September is really like weird transition because our weather goes like hey it's summer hey it's fall. And so I'm like, one day I'm like, hey, let's wear sweaters and wear fall makeup. And the next it's like, well, just kidding, it's summer again. So welcome to Michigan. That's how it is. So the next thing, another lipstick is the NYX Liquid Suede in Jet Set. This one I wore once and I think I put it on the kid once because I did her makeup. I was like, hey, my makeup's already done. So come here, let me use your face. And she, she went for it. So I put this on her just for fun. And then, let's see, the next one. Oh, we're out of, oh, well, not completely, but we're through the lipsticks. So the next thing is the Amethyst Liner, the purple one. And if you remember, I have the purple liner and the blue lipstick, so I actually have the other two that are lingering around. And that one, it went from, like, the orange, and then you see the blue line through the middle. Basically, I haven't sharpened it. But the tip is wore down, so it went from being, you know, the tip to being wore down that much. So, but I don't want to sharpen it. Like, I don't sharpen pencils until I'm going to use them because then you, like, have the creaminess under it. Like, maybe that's weird, but that's what I do. So then, let's see. I have the Wet n Wild Blue Liner, and this one is still going. I've used this a couple times, but you can see the little, uh... I can't get it to swirl. You can see the little areas like where you can see through the packaging. So that one is going strong. And then the uh, LA Colors Visit Vivid Purple Liner. Doing a lot of reading on that. And that one looks like this. And I really like to put this like under my eye and smudge it out a little bit. So that one has gone from orange here down to the black line there. So that one has pretty good progress on it so far for this month. And then the final lip product in here is the Rimmel Clear, you know, Universal Lip Pencil Lip Liner. And that one has gone, this one is like down to this teeny tiny little thing. And on the cap, it has gone from purple to orange to black. And like that black one, like this needs to be gone by next month, right? Like you'd think, but I'm really not doing so hot with it. But I'm using the purple and the blue and like the things that have their colored liners in so but now that I have this I have this so then the final things are these 
four palettes. And I'm going to move my bin out of the way here. Cause. So the first one, on my stack at least, is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. And I was given this black shade because my family picked all the stuff. And that one is getting a decent dip in it. Like, I wouldn't call it like amazing or anything, but you can see the use on it. And my goal on these, because they gave me a zillion colors in these palettes, is to just hit pan on them all. So that one I am using as my crease shade. Usually like I darken just my crease with a really pointy brush because my eyes are deep set. So I just like emphasize that more instead of trying to fight it. So the next one is the ColourPop Element of Surprise palette. And I was given the, the four colors with the stars. So I was given the two shiny ones up here the pink and this brown and the brown has that glitter in it i've tried a few times to use it but there's not much the pink is the one that has the most progress and then these two i've used a bit and you can see sort of the divots in them but those are coming along there those two are nice neutral shades and that pink i was loving for summer like for august so we'll see what i do with that that might be holding off till spring now because i'm really starting to get into like the burgundies and oranges and like fall colors so we'll see how that goes so then the boxy charm i really focused on this blue this month this is emeraldy enough if i put it over a black or like dark what i've been using is using this like brown eyeliner as a base instead so this one has really turned emeraldy and obviously I'm doing the emerald green for football games so that one you could see the divot in it is doing like really well the black up here not so much I've kind of like they gave me so many black shades that I'm kind of like going to use one at a time so right now I'm doing the tart one and then I'll move into that and final pa palette is the soiree diaries and that one they gave me this whole like column and then the whole bottom row and then this one little guy over here. So I've been using a lot of like the like the way this was set up originally was like this the columns are looks. So I've been doing like this look that they gave me the whole thing of a few like quite a bit a few times when I just want to quick throw on like a neutral look and that's like orangey enough to satisfy my orange pumpkin spice basic bitch status. And so this one over here I haven't used much of. The same with uh, this one here. Um, these three, you could see sort of the divots in them. Um, I haven't really done these sparklies, but I've been, these two I have used a bit too. You can see, especially this one because I did this row looks, that one is hanging out just fine. I'm blinding you with my lights above me. Sorry. But that is all of my products. I'm hoping to have more gone. Hmm, what do I got here? I'm thinking this um, and this should be gone by, if not next update, the, the update after. And the Wander Booty, Wander Booty, the Wander Beauty mascara is really starting to get chunky. So I'm expecting that to be moving out sooner than later. Like, so by the end of the year, these are the ones I think that will be used up. Other than that, I think I've got a long time on the rest of these. But that is it for today. I hope you'll stick around and check out my updates on this. I hope you will. People are texting me as I'm doing this. Of course they are. I haven't had a text all day. Anyways, I hope you will stick around and check out my updates. I hope you'll check out the other fantastic ladies in this collab. And until the next time, I will talk to you all later.